Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about permissions. So generally what are permissions? See permissions define the type of access the user is going to have on the resources which are being made available over the network. Like uh, the user will be having some default privileges when the user logs into a system. As an admin, the administrator can increase or decrease the existing permissions, right? So in these permissions we have two types of permissions. One is sharing well permissions, the other one is security level permissions. So first let us discuss what exactly are sharing level permissions. Let's take an example of a network. So what do you mean by sharing it? Sharing is nothing but you are making it available for everyone in the network. You want everyone to access the particular resource. Now let us say, here I am having a folder, some data and in this I have some files. So will everyone be able to access this folder from the network? No. Why? Because if I want everyone to access this over the network, then I want this to be shared. So once I share this particular resource, then everyone in the network will be able to access this particular resource. Example, let us say a user U1 has logged in over here. And once the user logs in, user can access the network resources. How can a user access the network resources? Either using the UNC path, like giving the path of the system where the resource is originally located or otherwise using the network icon. From there, the list of our systems will be available. We can choose a particular system and access the resources available in there. But whatever resources are being available, based on privileges only user can access. So now let us say U1 has logged into this particular system and when he is searching, he is able to find out this particular share folder with some files. So after accessing, he is doing some modifications, is adding some files and he is also deleting a particular file. So what happens when this file has been deleted, where is, being this, where is this file being deleted originally? Not just here, it is actually being deleted here. So what happens, once the file is deleted, well now, some other user is trying to access that same share folder from the network. Can he access that file? He cannot access the second file because it has been deleted by its other user. Now, as an admin you shared it so that you want everyone to access. But just because one user has deleted the file, the other user is not able to access. So, whenever some resources are being shared over the network, now administrator also has to take care how to protect that particular data so that it is being made available for everyone in the network. So while sharing that particular folder, the administrator can define who can access that particular share folder, right? Can define some permissions like what user should do or what the other user should do. So based on permissions, now the user will have access. Now if the administrator doesn't want you want to have, in a, you want to do any changes over here, what the admin can do, we can just put some permission saying that you want should only be able to read the data. Now, wherever U1 is logging in, let us say U1 has logged in here. Now, when he's trying to do some modification or trying to do by creating some new files, the folder is going to restrict. Why? Because admin has defined the permission saying that this user should have only read access on the particular folder. Now, if it is really required, the administrator can change the permission so that user will be able to do some modifications. So, as an admin, whenever certain resources are being shared, Admin should also provide some permissions so that based upon those permissions, user will have access and at the same time, everyone in the network is going to have the access on the particular resource. So sharing level permissions will be applied over the network. That is, when users are accessing the resource over the network, these permissions will be applied. But let us say this particular folder is in one drive. Now user has directly logged into this particular system where the folder has been originally created and the user is accessing directly from that particular drive. Then will the sharing level permissions work? No. The reason is sharing level permissions will be applied only when user is using the network path either from the same system or from the other system. But when the user is directly accessing the data from the original location directly from the drives then in order to protect that particular resource, administrator again has to define other permissions called as security level permissions. So sharing level permissions are generally configured to put a restriction for the users over the network 
and security level permissions are defined to restrict the user while accessing the data directly from the original location. So that when the data is being protected from the original location, it can also be made available over the network. So this is an overview about the sharing and security level permission.